What's up guys, today as the title says I'm going to show you a little tutorial on how to get your GoPro Hero 2 uh, time lapse images into a video, video editing software so that you can get it on to YouTube. Um, I'm going to be using Vegas Pro 11, uh, maybe you guys have something a little different, but hopefully everybody's uh, got some kind of video editing software you can put it onto it, or maybe use the Cineform, and, uh, but I'm not going to be focused on that, we're going to be focused on Vegas Pro, and uh, we're going to move right on into it. I'm not going to go over the settings for the GoPro. Most of you guys probably know how to use it and uh, you guys are probably actually sitting there right now with your images uh, wanting to know how to get them uploaded. So we're going to jump right into it. My GoPro camera is already hooked up so I'm going to go to my computer. I'm going to go to my eDrive. Alright, this is some uh, problems I was reading on earlier. Uh, some people were having problems because they had these three files in here and what GoPro does is it displays three digits on the uh, in the camera so when it gets to 999 it just moves on to the next folder it creates a new folder and starts throwing images in there and uh, I guess people were just a little confused because they wanted uh, they thought they had to go into the next folder and rename these uh, start at 1001 and move all the way through there but it's uh it's not like that it's a uh, really not a big deal it's really simple but uh I've read around the just reading around people were really confused about it so we're just gonna jump right in uh, Vegas Pro 11 I already have mine up um, this is from where I rendered earlier I'm just gonna delete this and show you guys from fresh how we're gonna do this whoops alright okay so once you have your images uh, or you know where your images are at we're gonna go down here to file import media we're going to go to where those folders are at. I already happen to have these on my desktop because I made this movie earlier. But, um, okay, let's get right into it. I think I said that like three times, right? All right. So in this first, in my first folder, for some reason, I cannot click my first image. I uh, don't know exactly why. Uh, I'm still trying to figure that out. But down here in the open still image sequence, what you want to do is click your first image. If that doesn't work for you, like it's not working for me, uh, just move over to your next image. Um, I deleted my second second image because my face was in it. So that's something you guys might want to look into too. Also, before you start this, is making sure uh, maybe you cut out the first few pics of your time lapse and the last few pics of your time lapse so that it doesn't show your face or anything like that setting up the camera. But uh, anyways, just go over to that next picture if this doesn't seem to work for you, um, and it works for me whenever I go to my next one. So hopefully that works for y'all. But just go down here. You want to check this open still image sequence box. Make sure that is checked. Click OK. This little box right here is going to pop up. And we want to make sure this frame rate is set at 30 frames per second. So you want to make sure that's set, or 29.97. But 30 frames. And you want to make sure the pixel aspect ratio is set at 1. After that, we can click OK. It's going to bring this image sequence sequence into here we can take that and drop it down here to our timeline like so and just we're going to repeat that step for for all the other uh folders that we have maybe you have more than three but um uh i have three maybe you have five but just go on until you get through all of your folders click your first image like i said for some reason on the first folder i had it would not let me do this on the second one not a problem uh, open still image sequence open make sure you're set on 29.97 click OK <clears throat> and then we can drag that down here and butt it up with our other image sequence and continue okay so once we have all these down here uh, first thing we're going to do, and I don't see why a lot of people don't do this, but or maybe they just don't know how, but a lot of people and a lot of time lapses, I, time lapses I see, they have these borders around the outside of their videos, and uh, we want to get rid of that. We don't want those to be there. And uh, what we're going to do is we're going to right click on our video and go to properties. And right here where you see maintain aspect ratio, we want to uncheck that box. And down here we want to check disable resample. Disable resample. Um, so we want to make sure that's right. We're going to click OK, and that's going to get rid. It's going to get rid of that those borders around the outside. And we're going to do this for all the clips, uh, however many you drug down. 
just repeat that process again maintain aspect ratio we want to uncheck that and we want to check disable resample okay same thing again and voila okay so once you have this uh, you're pretty much done unless you want to add some uh, you know effects and all that we're not going to go over that I just want to show you guys how to get this in here get it rendered and get it out so you can upload it uh, you can do all the editing that you want or put audio files down here if you want uh, whatever you want to do but uh, before we render it we want to make sure that this loop region sometime this will be dropped down here or it might be way out here but uh, we want to make sure that's lined up with our clip because we just want to render this right here we don't want to render any unwanted space out here so just make sure that's right and then we're going to go to file render as Windows Media Video V11 and I have a custom template set up for YouTube you guys can uh, copy this if you'd like um, it works really good with YouTube the best uh, I've watched videos actually setting this up and uh, I thought it worked pretty good so this is what I have but uh, you can customize the template you can go to the uh, uh, the HD 720p and um, click customize template and you can rename this to your YouTube HD 720 <coughs> HD 720p template so that uh, you can just use it again next time you come in here. But uh, this is the settings I have in here in audio, Windows Media Audio 9.2. Your attributes, you just want to make sure this matches up. Some people use this uh, 192 down here. I use 64. Uh, it, work, it works better for me. And uh, on the video settings, you want to make sure Windows Media Video 9. Your image size, make sure it's set on 720, 1280 by 720, and your pixel pixel aspect ratio is set to one. And uh, you want to make sure your video smoothness is all the way up. Oh, frame rate, uh, I had this set to 60 earlier because I've used it on other videos, but uh, you want to make sure that matches down here to 29.97. It matches with the other, so uh, you want to make sure that's like that. And then, uh, like I said, you can save this so you can use it again. So you can click this little save button. And uh, I hope you, hopefully you guys can hear me too, actually pretty well. I'm not sure if you can. Um, actually, my tape, my mic is like taped together and stuff. And I don't know if I already said this or not, but uh, yeah, it's like taped together. And uh, so hopefully it works all right. If not, sorry. Try to turn up your volume as much as you can. But anyways, moving on. Uh, make sure your frame rate's right. Click save. Okay. Make sure this check mark is uh or make sure this box is checked, your render loop region only. You only want to render your video clip in this region right here that you have already outlined earlier. And, uh, so we want to make sure that it's checked. And then uh, and then we can go ahead and render that up. I'm not going to render it because I already did and it would take me forever because my computer's slow. But uh, moving right on through that, that's pretty much it. You can upload it to YouTube and Hopefully you guys don't have any problems uploading to YouTube. You guys probably know how to do that. I just wanted to go over how to get the images into an editing software so that you can upload it to YouTube. I know a lot of people are having problems with that. So hopefully this cleared up some things. And Because uh, I know a lot of people don't want to use the Cineform, I guess, because, I don't know, for whatever reasons. I don't use it because I have Sony Vegas, and I like it better because I can edit a lot more things. So that's what I use, and that's what a lot of people were, were trying to get uh, help on was Sony Vegas. So. Hopefully this helped you guys out. Uh, leave a comment if you guys have any questions and subscribe and like if you like this video.